Hello everyone, this is Goofy Gamer, aka Mr. Money, and I am playing first in this triple. Um, we got some good stuff. 2 1 with heroic. Some, some pretty good. Yeah, I can keep this. If we draw into another couple of lands, we got some good stuff going on for us. Uh, yes, Goofy Gamer, Mr. Money. Triple journey into the Nyx pre release on the wide beta gameplay. No double black and no double green to speak of, so no reason to lead any kind of land. Um, ran into a little bit of trouble tonight. I almost didn't get to do this. Uh oh, can't be blocked in its foil. That's going to be an issue. Um, there we go. Removal spell. Um, drop in this guy and see where everything takes us. He's got us on a 20 turn clock. We've got him on a 10 turn clock, but he is playing blue-red, so we might have some stuff going for him. There is a lot of enchantment hate as well, so... But that darn Triton might be a, an issue for us. We can play our Grove Dancer and buff him up to a 2 2. Move on with our lives. Maybe we can get uh, another land. Put some stuff on some stuff. Magma spraying me. It's probably got like at least two more of those. Saw a bunch of those floating around. But yeah, put some aspect of Gorgon. And I saw a hubris. A hubris is uh, exactly what its name implies. Um. I'm more, I'm more anxious to get down the Grim Guardian because it's going to be another creature and it would be better for triggering off Constellation before I start pumping in all these uh, enchantments. Now I'm not all too aware of all the counter spells and journey into Nyx, so I might be walking into something. Um, so I can actually put Nyx Infusion on my Grim Guardian, and he's pretty well out of removal range. He would have to bounce it. Um, he's not doing too much in the way of beating me down. Um, so it's an enchantment. Uh, I feel like I'm just walking into a removal spell, but I can't think of one. Now I know that there's a, uh, a one mana 
black spell. So I can fake that. That whole extra five minutes they give us for this part of the pre-releases is, is, is really magical. It just really is. Now it doesn't seem like he has a lot to put on his Triton, so he's just hoping to get there by being unblockable. And if we get another land, we could do something about something like this. Although it's a 2-4. We could still put Aspect of Gorgon on it. And drop a Farika's Chosen. So let's do that. And then we can get some card advantage rolling for us. Now, if he bounces my Grim Guardian, doesn't that, it's going to make all these enchantment auras fall off and go to the graveyard, which is going to stink a little. So that's really good against my deck. So he's doing two damage to his creature to return my creature. And scrying one. So I guess that's something. Okay. So he has the Calvary. Um, so if I just don't die by next turn, then I can put in, like, the Lampad and the Grim Guardian. So he has no hand, so that doesn't help me. Um, I'm gonna take a chance. With this crew fixes insight and see what comes up. So we got Nixon Fusion, Lampad, Agent of Erebos, and I'm losing out on all that stuff. All right. So he can't really attack with his, uh, with his Triton. But he could be using this skink. Aha, there he goes. Okay. So I can null and void with the Nyx infusion because it's not an enchantment and he has no cards in hand. Um, but I did get a land, so let's see what things I can do. don't really have very many options here. I can do Grim Guardian and Brain Maggot and just try and grind him out on enchantments. Um,
And then next turn, bring in like a Deathbringer lamp pad. And seal some game off. Okay. And there's that. Now I could attack because this doesn't really help me do anything. And if he just lets it go, that helps me out. Him not being able to scry is another good deal. I can block his Triton. And he can just keep bouncing my enchantments. But if if he's just doing like three and then four damage, I mean I'll be I should be alright. So he has him his intimidate on. Okay. So his creature's not an enchantment creature. And this is an enchantment. Just to further grind him out, put this into effect. This guy is an all-star. This guy, Grim Guardian, frickin' all-star. Um, so yeah, I can't really do anything, but I can just kind of sit back and relax. Just grind him out with this enchantment deck. <laughs> Yes, sir, you are doing your four damage. It is wonderful. He's got another skink. Holy pajolies. Okay, so I play the Deathbringer Lamp Pad, and then I win. Ooh, Temple of Malady. We'll play that. Temple, well, yes, there we go. That's a good one. And then the Intimidate will send the Grim Guardian through. And then that will be two damage. Grinded to the grindstone with the enchantment tribal deck from from Heckelodian. Uh, but yeah, magma spray, spite, skink, boar, skink, bouncing all of my enchantments. Um, Um, I think actually cast into darkness would work against him because he was very defensive. Um, I already have one of those, so it does make his people less threatening. Um, That deactivates one of his cards, the agent does. Um, where's that one drop with the green? 
that doesn't really seem like it's going to do much against him. But he does have a very good ground force. And... Maybe just two cast into darkness, but I think that's the addition to the decks and uh, subtractions from the deck that we shall make. Uh, what does Feast in the Dream do? Enchanted creature or enchantment creature, which he did not have much of, um, but we're, we're well on our way. We went down one creature, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, enchantments. Go enchantment tribal. So we'll see for round... Uh, round one, game two here very, very shortly. Thank you for watching.